Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your Love Truths reading and it will be for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So Capricorn, I have manipulation, controlling and toxic. I have this for Virgo. We have celebration, good karma, party, gifts. Let's get one more. Secrets, holding back, hiding facts. Okay, those are the initial messages, Capricorn. Let's see what we have for you. Message for Capricorn, thank you. We have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. It's interesting because I have a controlling energy with manipulation, controlling toxic. Again, there's levels to these cards, so let's see what that is about. Overarching energy for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides. In love, romance, relationships. Thank you. The Strength card, card of Leo. We have the Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Okay, let's clarify these cards on the table for Capricorn, please. In love, romance, relationships. Thank you, October 2021. Remember Capricorn, these readings won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. I have the Four of Swords with the Moon. The Star. Knight of Cups, the Seven of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the four. The lovers, the choice in terms of love, romance, relationships. We have this controlling energy and then we have let go of control issues, which I find really interesting. Celebration, good karma, party gifts. And secrets holding back. The strength card is an energy of Having the courage and strength to face, face something, face fears, face facts, face truths. It is an energy of empowerment, but it's also an energy of courage. Because sometimes doing that is asking us to do things that we don't necessarily like to do, face our fears, face what challenges us, face some home truths maybe with regard to this situation and having the strength and courage to face up to something. We have these energies here Capricorn of the Four of Swords, deep reflection, contemplation, um, Generally, removing yourself from something that has conflicted you or challenged you in some way, taking some time out, because you're not clear. You're not clear. And I feel in this situation, you're not clear to do with the future of something. 
and what it is that you're taking steps towards here or whether to turn your back and go in a different direction someone's not clear here I feel that there somebody has feelings of something that they're not sure about and it's to do with how a relationship is evolving this could be causing you to hold back here Capricorn we have the star which is a beautiful energy of wish, wishes coming true divine wish fulfillment blessings sometimes this is an energy of, of needing to just trust and hope that the path that you're on is going to lead somewhere beautiful which generally with the star it does king of pentacles can be somebody I mean it can be your energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn male or female energy generally somebody who is honest, trustworthy, reliable, does what they say they do, quite transparent in terms of their feelings as well. Um, I, I certainly feel in this energy, this is somebody who's in it for the long term, sometimes represents the head of household energy, male or female energy, you know, breadwinner type energy. But there's certainly an energy here of there's real hope here, reasons to be optimistic. However, I see somebody, something within them is doubting, is causing some kind of doubt. Something is maybe conflicted someone and they have doubts. And we have this energy of real hope and optimism. The Knight of Cups is an offer of love, romance, relationships here at Capricorn. I mean, I feel this is within a current relationship. So for some of you, it could be taking the relationship to the next level. I mean, yes, this can also be to do with apologies or making something right here as well. But it feels in this energy, somebody has a lot of love for you. Again, this could be roles reversed, you for somebody else. I feel someone wants to fight for this. I mean, the, the Seven of Wands is... It certainly feels like somebody... We've come so far on this journey. And there is passion. There is love here. Why the doubt? You know, I feel that's what somebody's saying to you. Because I feel I'm seeing two energies here. Somebody who has doubts in terms of what the future holds and what they're manifesting towards with this relationship. And then there's somebody who is absolutely in it for the long term. Somebody who is offering love. I feel that this is, it feels like a relationship that's at a crossroads. And what this new beginning looks like, do I take the leap of faith to the next level? I mean, that could be evolving the relationship in whatever way this is going to be evolved. Having children, moving in together, um, it, it could be, you know, getting married. I mean, for whatever, whatever this reason is, I feel in this energy, somebody has a lot of love for you in this energy. Again, it could be you for them. But there's an energy of somebody having the strength and courage here to face the difficult things and it definitely feels like a relationship is at crossroads and somebody is, is has deep deep seated doubts in whether this is for them or not and there's a choice in terms of what this new beginning or next level energy is going to look like nine of cups which is the wish fulfillment card you know, the three of pentacles. Again, this can be building something solid, secure and stable for the long term. It feels like next level energy. I mean, some of you, this could be in terms of buying a home, doing up a home, whatever the next steps are for you. I feel in this energy, the question is, 
are we are we going in the same direction is this something that is that is a relationship that has the foundation for the long term for me I, I just feel that you have doubts is this my heart's desire you know I, I I feel that you have doubts I mean for some of you you might be consulting people who you trust you might be getting some advice from other people as well in terms of those who you trust The Nine of Cups certainly shows this is a lot of love. You know, the Nine of Cups is a wish coming true. But I feel someone's questioning, is this everything for me? Because I certainly feel someone is holding back. The Two of Swords is... I don't want to face this. I don't want to make a decision. I don't want to face this truth. I don't want to make a decision either way. I'm not ready to make a decision either way. And there's certainly an energy here with the strength card of facing something. Facing those fears. Facing those doubts. And really understanding at this crossroads which way you want to go. And that's what the strength card asks you to do. It's not always easy to face our fears, to face our own doubts, to understand and face the reasons behind those doubts, those deep-seated energies that we have to face and deal with, really in order to overcome and understand. May, you know, this celebration energy, good karma, party gifts, it could be some of you the offer could be linked to some celebratory energy again. It could be, let's take the relationship to the next level in some way here, Capricorn. I feel someone has deep secrets, deep doubts, deep insecurities here to do with a relationship. And there's certainly an energy here of, of some decision or choice that needs to be made and facing some, facing up to those doubts and fears in how you move forward. I mean, I, I certainly see that's how October will pan out for some of you. You know, sometimes that moon energy, it can be to do with subconscious energy. You know, subconscious energy can be deep-seated fears, insecurities, vulnerabilities. It could be from past experiences for some of you. You know, and there is certainly an energy of removing yourself from a situation or taking time out even to really understand what's going on here. Why the doubts? Because once you understand that and face that, I feel you will understand how to move forward. Final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for Capricorn, please. Thank you. Fruition. Rest assured your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Certainly looks promising, that card. We have Blue Star. Follow the light of your inner compass, the Blue Star. It will lead you to the truth that resides within your soul. That's poignant for this reading. We have free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment and to love without conditions. And final message, we have stillness. Reflect on this moment with love, kindness and compassion. I mean, I see that with the Four of Swords and the Moon energy. Taking time to really understand what's going on within, deep down, beneath the surface of this. Um, it could be, like I said, having some alone time. 
connecting to your special place, you know, going out, taking a day out to get perspective here. I feel that that will bring you some clarity. Someone's certainly holding back from something and there's a reason for it. And I guess it's the fate of strength and courage to find what that is. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.